Uh, maybe I should put the book down and um, get to talking about games. Uh, let's talk about... Um, let's see. Uh, Loop Hero. Yes. That sounds like a good idea. Loop Hero is one of those weird little games that is everything that I really don't like. It's high fantasy in places. It's one of those auto battler things. It's a bit of a retro thing that's in that realm of retro that almost makes you think of a ZX Spectrum. You know, that, that really retro thing of yeah, here's the 80s in a game, but this was released um, about a month ago, and it's also a roguelike, or light, and I never bloody know, but it's one of those little things that you're meant to die. You're meant to die a lot, because the next time that you come back, you're going to have a bit of extra knowledge, you're going to have a little extra here and a little extra there, and it's all very different, but the same, and it's all nice. It's weird, but it's nice. And um, the point of Loop Hero is the world's all gone a bit to pot. No one remembers what happened. You don't really either, but you know that there's something wrong, so you have to go about the place and to try and remember everything and fix it. And with that, you have to fill in the world, and you keep looping this little bit of a world, filling it in every time, and slowly progressing towards a boss in each chapter. So once you've filled in enough, you go on to fight a boss. But, and this is the tricky bit, uh, you keep looping this little loop, you know, almost as if it's in the title, and you're the hero. Oh, <gasps> shocker! A uh, name that actually makes sense to a game. Who knew that could happen? Who? Who knew? Anyway, yes, you keep looping. Well, I say you, you, you don't really do anything. You occasionally stop the game and go, ooh, is my armor slightly worse than what I've just picked up? Or can I do a little bit extra to the world and do something here and there and everywhere? Um, yeah, I could do this, I could do that and so on. But the most part, you don't really do anything. You're just watching the loop happen. But every now and then you have to intervene and just do something. And usually that something is, oh, I'm about to die. Maybe I should back out of this next loop. Because that's the point of it. You're supposed to go on these loops and continually loop and collect loot. And once you've collected all the loot, you go back to camp. Because, of course, there's camp. You have to build up little bits here and there, and it's all fine. And uh, I, I don't really think much of the camp building bits. I think that's just another bit into the... I don't want to say mess because I really like Loop Hero. Loop... Am I saying the right name? Yes. Yes, I am. Uh, it's, it's one of those little things that just... It's there. You know, you play games and you go, that's there. That seems like an integral part of the game, but I don't care for it. You know those feelings? No, just me, as I play everything again and again and again and again. Anyway, Loop Hero. It's one of those weird little things where you keep looping and looping and looping and looping and looping and getting loot and so on and so on. And the point is to get enough loot to come back next time and essentially take on the boss. The boss that's big, scary and ooh. But... Every time you try and go up against the boss, uh, you're probably gonna die. You're probably gonna die because 
you don't have anything to do with combat. Wait, what? Yes, you have absolutely nothing to do with combat because, well, that would just make it too easy now, wouldn't it? Yeah, you, you don't do anything whatsoever. And normally I wouldn't think, oh, yeah, I quite like that. I, I hate games where I'm told, no, go off in the corner. You can't play anymore. Go away. You know, turn-based games. Um, most turn-based games. A lot of them. Final Fantasy. Kingdom Hearts. Okay, yes, that is the turn-based action. Ooh, look, we're half turn-based, half this, and it's all a bit... Bleh. I don't like that. I, I really don't. Why why go for the in-between? Just either give me turn-based or give me action and then I can decide what's in between. And... I don't care. Anyway, yes, coffee. Um, Loop Hero. It's still fun. That's the thing. It's, it's still fun somewhere in that little... <clears throat> loop. It's got a little bit of something where, yeah, you're not really doing anything when it comes to stabbing the jelly babies of death. I think they're slime. I don't know. I don't care. I, I just, I like Loop Hero. It's one of those weird little things that it's taken everything that is good about older games, you know, the the weird little graphics, the the hero. The hero looks like a stick figure that's a bit fat. You know, that type of retro game that had that. Yeah, it's that. It's that tiny little thing of, ooh, look, we're a human, kinda. Uh, maybe don't really look human but you know cool and then you have the little cutscene bits where the hero looks brilliant I love that art style I love it love it love it to bits I love that high definition pixel art thing it's it's weird it's very very weird but uh, anyway yes it's really nice it has a really nice retro thing where you go between here's something that looks quite modern but aping retro games and then you have the really retro bit of the gameplay and it all looks a bit naff. It does, it looks a bit naff and it's got a bit of charm in that. I like the charm. I think the charm of the art style really pulls it together. It really pulls together the very simple gameplay mechanics where, yeah, you're not really doing anything. You're sometimes pausing and switching out numbers for better numbers. And really, that's the World of Warcraft nonsense that I don't like. Who who in the right mind sits there all day and goes, ooh, I have pants that are slightly better. Yay. Boring! So boring! But then again, so would sitting there watching a little white figure stumble around a circle. But that's what Loop Hero is. It's the little white figure. That's always white figures. Uh, stumbling around little circles. Something about roundabouts in Liverpool. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Something about Loop Hero. Yeah, it's really good. It's really, really good. I quite like it. Yeah, there's little bits that are going to be frustrating and little bits that you'll not really understand as, well, the game tries to... It tries to be mysterious, but also tries to explain itself and it does little bits here and there that... They don't light a fire under me, to put it... Um, in such terms. 
However, I think I've not really gotten to one of the many reasons why I actually like Loop Hero, aside from, you know, the hyperactive whee thing in my head saying, it's really good, you know, like a psycho. Anyway, uh, the point is, it's trying to do the retro thing with something very modern, something that would never have been in this type of game if it were, you know, of the time that it's trying to ape. I am, of course, talking about the dyslexic font, which makes the rather stylized text of retro games just disappear. And you want to know something? That makes a game 10 thousand times better as a dyslexic. It makes a game that is constantly about reading and getting little bits of text from, you know, these scrolling bits of text that just go on and on and oh, I am of the family. Uh, we are years old and I'm awake. It, it all just bores the nips off me. I'm bored by all that reading in that stylized font. I don't like it. I find it tiresome. I find it annoying. I find things like that sometimes hard to read because of dyslexia. And you want to know what really helps in that case? A font that isn't ridiculously curved in places and ooh look we can do fancy little curves and little bits here and there. No! 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 Stop it! Stop that right now. Give me a simple plain text that is readable by humans. Not this, oh look we can do calligraphy and <laughs> Away with you! Away with you! Oh, but we can do fancy things. I don't care. I really don't care. Making something legible is the point. You want to be understood, therefore be understood. Which is rich coming from me, but still. I think the reason that Loop Hero has just gotten into me and made me go, Ooh, I quite like this is a simple fact. It is everything that I really don't like about games in the modern era, which is trying to ape retro aesthetics, trying to be fantasy, trying to be all this nonsense, and then goes on to be quite fun, goes on to be quite simple and easily understood, including dyslexic font accessibility areas, it makes itself understood, it makes itself easily understood, and it's enjoyable. It is very enjoyable. You collect the little cards and you fill in the mountains and you get little bits of health, you put on armour, you do this, you do that, and then you fight the monster, and at the end, that's fine, that's simple, it's all very simple. But you're also building up a little strategy in your head and you're doing little things to work out what you're going to do next. As much as you're not really in the combat, you somewhat are. You're planning what you're doing, you're putting in, ooh, I want this little bit of armor or ooh, I want this weapon in here, I want this ring here. This ring gives me X amount of regen, this bit of armour does this amount of protection, so on and so forth. And then you have all the little cards, all the little cards that build up the world around you. And you're creating the world, but at the same time you're creating this little plan in your head. You're creating what is essentially a bigger world that is trying to benefit you. If you haven't played Loop Hero, you really should. It's just one of those little bits of 
ah, right, this is what fun games are. This is how a game can be fun, but also taking away that little bit of control in combat. It can take away that little bit that you're usually comfortable with, but it just it does it enough. It takes away enough and gives just the right amount back. It gives you just enough power that you feel like you're doing something, but at the same time, you've had this little stabby combat thing that you're so used to taking away. You're not in that world. You're not in that little thing. You're just managing how the world interacts with you and you interact with it. Or rather, the hero interacts with it. It's very weird and interesting and fun. And I think that's the biggest takeaway. It's a game that you're not entirely in the combat, but it's still fun. That enough probably died about three or four times in this video.